My second grade, it's Miss Giannino, and I'm here to review our break apart strategy that we've been using to solve addition equations. Now, when you're doing this at home, you can use this video to follow along to remind yourself, but then you can pick three digit numbers yourself and create addition equations to solve on your own. So I've written um, an equation on the board. I've written 274 plus 453. Now, when I'm using the break apart strategy, I always look at the first number and then look at the second number, and then I break them both into expanded form. So we're gonna start with 274. When I write 274 in expanded form, I start by looking at the hundreds place. I see two hundreds in the hundreds place, so I know that's equivalent to 200. When I look at the tens place, I see seven. I know that's equivalent to 70. And when I look in the ones place, I have four ones, which is just equal to four. So I have 200 plus 70 plus four, or 274. Then I'm going to look at my second number. I see four hundreds in the hundreds place. Four hundreds is equivalent to 400. Then I look at the tens place, five tens, I know that's 50. I look at the ones place, and I know that there are three ones. So I have 400 plus 50 plus three, or 453. Now I have to group them or add them together by their place value. So I'm going to add together the hundreds first. 200 plus 400. I know there are two hundreds and four hundreds. Two and four is six, so 600. Then I'm going to group my tens. 70 and 50. I have seven tens and five tens. I know seven and five is 12. So 12 tens is the same as 120. And then I'm going to group four and three. Four plus three, I know that's a fast fact in my brain, I know is seven. All right, then I'm looking across my equation, my expanded equation, and I see that I have a hundred in the tens place, and I can't write a number with a hundred in a tens place, so I'm gonna break apart that number. I know that I have 100 here, and then left over I'll have 20, or two tens. Now I can take my hundred and easily add it to my hundreds place. I'm going to add 100 to the 600, which gives us 700. Then I'm going to pull down the rest of my equation. So I'm gonna pull down the 20, and then I'm going to pull down the seven. So now when I read across my equation, I have 700 plus 20 plus seven, which I know is 727. So the answer to my equation, 274 plus 453 is 727. Again, you can solve um, using this strategy with any three digit numbers that you can come up with in your head. Um, and I hope that you have a great rest of your day learning math. I'll see you soon, bye.